before i get started into the hair routine i just want to say i'm sorry for the audio quality for the voiceover i'm using my ipad but as you can tell like i'm using a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair luckily my hair isn't too tangled so it's kind of easy to detangle without using conditioner and conditioner is what i would usually use to detangle instead of just using water also, if you guys see me just looking off to the side, it's because I was filming a YouTube short at the same time and it was very difficult because my mirror tripod just kept falling to the floor. For this wash day, I'm using Sapphira Mineral Essentials Color Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually only used the shampoo this time because you know I was going in with the deep conditioner and I didn't want to take too long because I am very lazy and like I said this is very simple this is actually my first time even using this brand and I have to say I really do like it and it smells really good it did not strip my hair did not leave it feeling like you know like stringy and you know I don't know how to describe it it was like some shampoos just feel weird especially with colored hair I would have used my scalp scrubber, but that thing broke the first time I tried to record this video and I was absolutely flabbergasted. For my deep conditioner, this time I'm going to be using Miel, Miel, Babasu with Mint Deep Conditioner. I don't know if I said that right, but this had my scalp feeling absolutely like icy mint. If you know what I'm talking about, like that cooling sensation, I like it. But it was like way too cooling for me. But my hair looked so good after I applied this. I got this packet from Family Dollar. I believe it was like a dollar some change or maybe two. I don't know. But it definitely was affordable. And I would say it's a 10 out of 10. So I recommend it. Imagine one day I get a sponsorship from them. I would be so proud of myself. Like, oh my gosh, like, let's make it happen. My number one fave deep conditioner is actually the High Pro Pack Deep Repair Mask, the blue pack. Now for my second hair tool of choice, I'm going to be using this very cheap tangle teaser. I think it's a tangle teaser. I don't know. I got it for like $4 or something. I don't remember where, but this is a holy grail. Just look at how good it makes my curls look when brushing. So I definitely would recommend this for anybody with curly hair. Personally, for me, I do not deep condition my hair weekly just because I do not feel like it. In 9 times out of 10, I only deep condition maybe once a month whenever I feel like it. When I titled this Simple and Lazy, I literally meant it. I am very lazy when it comes to my hair. It looks like I'm being rough on my hair, but I promise I'm not. I just prefer to hold my brush with two hands and just do it that way. I don't know. It's just, I just like it that way, okay? These were the clips I was talking about where my hair looks good after the mask. Like, just look how nice and shiny they look. And the smell, I would say, is a 9 out of 10. I'm not a big fan of mint, but the smell lasted after I literally rinsed it out completely. I did let it sit in my hair for 15 minutes like the packet said. I just didn't show it and I actually forgot my shower cap. So I just used a claw clip and just, you know, did it that way. But now I'm rinsing out my hair, rinsing out the deep conditioner. Last product that I use is the Originals Honey and Castor Curls. I believe this is actually like a gel, but I use this leave-in, which is really not the best because it does cause my hair to like kind of frizz up. And if I was to use a leave-in conditioner, I would use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Lotion by Shea Moisture. But unfortunately, I ran out. And that is it for the in shower portion of the hair care routine. Now for the other part. Okay, so as you can tell, that conditioner left my hair looking so nice and shiny. And it smells so good. But now I'm just going to take the Wild Growth Hair Oil and I'm just going to oil that on my scalp. Then I'm going to take another hair oil and I'm just going to apply that to the strands on my hair. It's literally just some random oil. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to use it just to get rid of it so I can buy some more that I actually like. Just to let you guys know, it's a Manuka Honey Hair Oil. I don't know how a honey could become an oil, but it's lightweight and it does the trick. Here's my hair the next day. Nice, shiny, and soft curls. You know, it looks cute. It's real bouncy. Comment and let me know if you would like to see more hair videos. And until then, I will see you guys. Bye.